You'll be the one that buries all of us. Do you think we can win against the Deadwalker army? Against the Deadwalker army? No chance. Now, the Ice Lords, that's another question. What do you mean? Only that sometimes you have to try to chop off the head, you know? That bunch of walking corpses wouldn't be any trouble at all if there was no one to guide them. I guess you're right, but I don't think that makes the task any simpler. There was a time way back, you know, when there were so many of us in the company, several hundred, that the captain decided to delegate. So he chose two lieutenants. Those two assholes fought over how to share out the men for weeks. They both wanted to take the best men for their group. And the result? We had our asses handed to us by an army that was hardly more numerous than we were. I guess what I'm trying to say is that the Deadwalkers are just the same. You've got seven bosses, and each one of them wants to control everything. So if we were able to set them against each other... Now you're thinking straight. I don't know how we could do it, but I'm sure that it's possible. See you later. Here we go. Another one of these hick refugees. There's nothing for you here. Call me a hick one more time, and I'll be using your face as an anvil. Uh, let's all remain calm, shall we? Please forgive my error. With all this commotion and all the thankless tasks I find myself confronted with, I often find my attention to detail slips. So, what can I do for you? Show me what you have for sale. Ah, gold. So vulgar to work with. So wonderful to own. So, you have returned. What is your desire? I need more info about Valvanor. And you have decided that I have a sympathetic face. It's the story of my life. Talent worthy of a king's ransom, but surrounded by cretins who only seek that which is free. What can you tell me about the steward? Oh, don't expect me to say anything bad about Berthoff Chambriad. 
I'm not always in agreement with him, but I can see that he knows his business. And he keeps the village relatively safe. It's not often you see an elf blending in with other cultures. Are there many of you here in Valvanor? To my knowledge, I was the only one. That is, until Prince Arundel and his acolyte arrived. Does that pose a problem for you? Not at all. Well, it does for me. His Majesty the Prince of Imbeciles is going to bring us nothing but trouble. Do you know the woman who runs the healing house? Oh, of course. She's all one hears about lately. Everyone here will tell you that she's a courageous woman fighting a noble battle. Everyone but me. The woman's insane. There are already far too many mouths to feed in this camp. Clearly, she's fully aware of this, yet she stubbornly insists on making things worse. And the Red Scribes? Know anything about them? No, certainly. A boring bunch of fusspots, spreading science and preaching the good word while never suspecting that anyone might see through their little game. Our game? Well, pray tell. Give us the details. Please, give us the benefit of your extensive knowledge. I don't pretend to know about all their little plots. I spend very little time with them, and frankly, I couldn't possibly care less about them. But I am fully aware that pretty speeches serve no better purpose than manipulating minds. They're nothing more than noisy masks behind which hides a reality that is far uglier. The more the melody is sweet, the better it distracts you. And is there anything more disgustingly melodious than the discourse of a red scribe? When it comes to disgusting discourse, you seem to be something of an expert. Let's talk about something else. I'll be back. That's an excellent idea. <laughs> 